my hours of playing games like Daisy and Rust, I've met a lot of different people and groups, seen unique playstyles or strategies, but a clan village is not something I see often. It's something I could agree with if they have good intentions, but this clan and this village didn't. So that's why we put together a plan and we infiltrated it. But a story like this has to start somewhere. And for us, that start was in the outpost safe zone, in the middle of the new map, Gravis Island. It was just me and Oggy, and we had everything to build a base. So we headed out to find somewhere to build. At this point, it was about three days into the force wipe. So obviously a lot of groups had already made a start and built their bases. So we decided to build somewhere on the coast near my favorite monument, Large Oil Rig. And it was en route to build spot where we met our enemies. Oh bro, look at the base here. We can't build here. But look at all the bases here. This is crazy contested. Here yeah, we go up a tiny bit into the snow. Built literally right on the edge of the snow on the wall. That could actually have just decayed to be fair. Probably not though. I mean, you could grab some of those big boxes, we could take them, right? We found a base on the coast that had decayed overnight, so we took what was left of their storage, furnaces, and their tier 1 workbench. That's good. Oh shit, guy here! I'm holding full charge behind this TT, bro. He's, he's hit a bunch of times. I'd really want to just get a base down dude with everything we've got. We just had too much loot on us to lose, so we rushed to the build spot, but that same guy came back, and this time, with his friend. Okay, he's pushing. I think there's two of them. Oh, there's one's MP5, man. Yeah, I'm dead, I'm dead. Full charged him, I'm dead. You full charged him in the chest? The... The... The hazmat one. I got him to 1 HP, bro. <laughs> and this is where our troubles began. A Russian duo group roaming down the coast, stopping anyone attempting to build in this area. And where could they live? Well, my guess was one of these bases right here. It would make sense. The area was contested as it was, and even though we were built far enough away, they clearly didn't want any more neighbors. So I respawned on a bag I'd placed nearby, and like how most Rust players would start out, I hit some barrels on the road for components. And once I had a decent amount of components, I headed to the bandit camp safe zone to recycle, but another Roma killed me. Uh, another death was demotivating, but I wasn't giving up yet. I respawned, got myself a compound bow, and tried to make a play. I just, I, I killed a guy. Eventually, it turned nighttime, so me and Oggy waited in the bandit camp safe zone until it was light enough for us to build. Hello. Hello, man. What do you need? Oh, I don't need anything. Hey, bro. 
No, no way, yeah, bro. That is so kind of you, man. Thank you. <laughs> no problem, no problem. All right, just just uh, hold on to all my goodies, okay? <laughs> I'm dead. Wow, bro. From where? And another death pissed me off so much, I had to find where all of these guys were coming from. So again, I respawned, got my compound bow back from Oggy, and I left bandit camp for a grub operation. Yeah, that's him. He's done for me. He's finished. It's a... Twitter, it's just a big weird group here. Bro, it's really weird. Oh my god. Yep. That's it. That's what I wanted, bro. That is what I wanted. I I'm not even opening that combat log. I am not opening that combat log right there, dude. Bro, there's a whole village here, guys. If we, like, farmed up and actually made progress, bro, we could easily take these out, these guys out. <laughs> oh, I wish it was easy as that. But no. This group seemed to be very active, and there were very obviously a lot of them. <laughs> the roof jam. No! Okay, this is it, this is it. I got a full charge and I win. Three HP. <laughs> Alright, well, I died. <laughs> Bro, I really think we could kill these guys. I really do. I, th I think we could beat them, but it's it's just a big group, but they have a bunch of different bases. Very interesting. But it's no compound to it, you know? Like, why, why would they not build a compound around that? It's weird. Now, at this point, we've been on the server for over an hour, and we've yet to even build a base. So, any revenge I wanted to take upon this group would have to wait. So I headed back into bandit camp where Oggy was waiting, he gave me my spare clothes and spare weapons he'd held on for me, and we headed north towards our base spot. Now before we go any further, it's important you know that was not the last we'd see of those assholes killing me earlier. In fact, they happen to be the main characters in this story, and we had every intention to piss them off. But we were far, far behind them in progress. We didn't even have a gun. <laughs> With no blueprints to craft guns, we needed as much scrap as we could get to research what we needed. So I hit all the barrels of water treatment and looked at the crates hidden around the monument. Here we go, baby. Bro, all of the, all of the. With all the components I had, I'd go back and forth from that recycler, gathering as much scrap as possible for a tier two workbench. And it was weird because I seemed to be the only person looting this monument. But I wasn't complaining. That just made looting all the easier. Oh, I'm about to get a jackhammer out of this crate. Really got this little box. Oh my god. That's a clip. That is a clip. <laughs> that is a clip. <laughs> With the metal frags I got from recycling and the stone Oggy got from farming, we were able to upgrade our base to stone and add sheet metal doors. We were also getting closer and closer to that tier 2 workbench now, and because I'd already looted water treatment, I headed down to the train tunnels to loot all the crates down there. Oh, bollocks, hold on, shush. Fucking gone me, bro.
But you're on the roof, Josh. No, or, 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 no, uh, kill him. That's yeah, him. Yeah, kill him. Yeah, He's yeah. low. Full charge down. No, down. thank you, thank you, thank you. He, I might have had a gun or something, bro. I don't know. He did. He had a DB. Oh my! What? What? M39. That's nice. AX, dude. AX. Uh, so many combo. Three inches scope. Get here right now. Get here right now. <laughs> I'm running with the M39. Now, I don't know what possessed that guy's mind to go on a recycle run on his own with all of those components and scrap. Oh, that's right. <sighs> anyway, with our first gun we just acquired, this wasn't a gun we could research, unfortunately, but we could use this to make a play on someone and get a gun that we could actually research and craft. And now that we had a tier two workbench, all we needed was that gun. With just an M39 and a few spare rounds, me and Augie ventured north to see if we could find a guy to kill. Like I said, all we needed to do was kill a guy with a tier 2 weapon, take that gun back to base, research and craft a few of them, and we could actually progress. And that perfect chance might just have come. Many flying over shit. Killed him, killed him, killed the mini! And I got a mini, you got a mini here. Okay, I don't have the mini. <laughs> I killed the guy that I killed the hazard here though. Socket, socket, socket. Come with the saw. Hoodie on the floor as well. Brother. And the bandages as well. Let's go, let's just go. Oh my god. I'm down, yeah, I'm, I'm down. Fuck, bro. And there goes our only gun. <laughs> After that, I took a bit of a break, and I returned 20 minutes later. Do you know what name I think is actually kind of sick? Um, oh. Mitosis. Nah. That's a decent one as well. Billy is a sick name, you know. What's your name, Billy? Billy what? Billy Jean, snap my lover. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cooking up, cooking up, cooking up. Man, we are on our own in this area, 100, like completely on our own, dude. It's like no one comes over here, but I love it. It's so good. It's this actually place. a really OP spot as well. This is like this a spot that we know we can always come back to if we ever want to play this map, you know? Now, before we go any further into the story, I think it's important that you know what's going on. Although it may seem like we're just running around aimlessly, no. Our objective was still to return to the group that lived in the village we saw earlier. There were clearly a lot of them and they were heavily controlling the area. But I was curious, all those players I died to, all the people that made our start so difficult, was it them that lived here? Well, I couldn't know for sure. Oh boy, I wanted to find out. But before we made any moves on this group, we wanted to build up our guns and armory. And because we were too shit to kill a guy for a gun, Oggy farmed up enough so from bought a saw from another group. I researched the saw with our spare scrap, crafted three saws, ammo, med pens, and we got ready to do our first oil break. As we waited for the lock crater oil rig to respawn, we sat and intensely discussed how we could infiltrate that village. I really want a pizza tonight. I want a pizza and a beer. I'm having an Indian. Back! Back. Go. Right, we better make this quick, huh? We've got to get someone watching the dock as well. Yeah. Airdrop. That's really good. Yeah. The rest are pretty short. Yeah, up for decent. Yep. 
this one. Good job, boys. Airdrop, dude, look, the airdrop's there. I'll show you. Oh, really fucking good. Oh, bro, yeah, that's, I mean, that's what we Wait, want. Two, Two Tommies, man. Here, Josh, take this map in. With all the heavy scientists killed, our airdrop landed and looted. All we were waiting for now was that lock crate. So we waited throughout the night and into that next morning on oil rig, and eventually, that crate finally unlocked. Let's see what there is, dude. Bro, it's good! Oh, that's an insane crate. That's insane. Exactly what we want. That's fucking nuts. That's exactly what we needed. MP5, Python, M32, another double armored door, M32? and a single. M92. M92, sorry. And uh, another another double armored door and a single armored door. Good job, guys. Exactly what we needed. A row of extra guns to bring back to base, along with a bunch of double armored doors to make our base much stronger. Do you get three double armored doors from that? Yeah. And a single as well. Right, let me research this Tommy real quick, okay, brothers? Here, I'll go and grab your coffee gun. Take this. Your feet. Didn't really need them right now, bro. May as well. Right, you ready? Ready to go kick some ass? We'd waited long enough. We had no excuse now. It was time to head to that village and make our move. So where are these guys living? Okay, so they live in E11, dude, next to that large fishing village, bro. And it's like a bunch of different bases. I wonder if it's a bunch of different groups. Mm. But they're all friends. Maybe. This is it, Lurse. Look, you see it? We're not even that far away. They're actually... Bro, they're building a hemp base right now. Yeah, yeah, I see. We should is go. that a hemp base? Yeah, they no, just upgraded it. Wait, but they might not have doors on. Yeah, there's a big guy in the far base as well. Yeah, I see that. He's only... Nah, he doesn't even have a gun there, dude. No, he's has he? Oh. Okay, then there's two. Because there's one jumping on top of that base. Oh, <gasps> That door's... That door frame's tweak. Which door frame? The, the, the hemp base. Dead. Oh my god, fucking stacked, bro. So run, many run, run. components for some reason. Run, Lewis, run. I'm running. TC's locked. It's unlocked? No, it's not. It's locked. Oh, shit. We could come and take over that, dude. <laughs> we could. But we should. We should. Well, but, content, but we can't. Content. We can't. Though. What can we do? The satchel. The satchel. The satchel. <laughs> the sa a massive error of theirs left us with a chance to take over this new base they were building. But their TC was locked, and without something to quickly destroy it, we'd have no chance. Oh, one thing I didn't mention. On that perfect oil rig run, we managed to find exactly what we needed. We all left base, and me and Lewis dived into the water, slowly making our way towards their base. Our Oggy was on land, giving us info. There's a mini right above you. We're gonna go, 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 Lewis, go! Go, go, go! No, please, please, please. It's on, it's sealed, it's sealed, it's sealed. I've airlocked this, bro, I've airlocked nice, that. Nice, bag nice, us nice. in, bag us in here. Oh, how are we gonna get out of this? Have you, is this one of my bags? Yeah, yeah, the tile's yours. Infiltration. <laughs> Infiltration, dude. Oh, they're all outside, I see them. How many, how many? FBI, open up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're about to read it, they're about to read it. Are they reading the top bar? No, they're explosive. They're explosive. Oh shit, dude! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get ready, because I'm, I'm going to push out the front door. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Where am I holding from then, Lewis? Oh, they're, they're, the they're all four on top. They're all on top. No. Oh, no, I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> that is so funny, dude. They've still got that fucking door on the front though that they've got to get rid of. Mm -hmm. So I guess it was a bit of a failure. Our plan to take over and hold their base ended pretty quickly as they started raiding through the roof. Oggy thought he saw all of them above us, so we pushed out, but we were both killed by two of them on the outside. And with two gear sets down the drain, we were disappointed. 
but we got some much needed info. Since the start, I'd been curious how many people this group really had. And with Oggy seeing four guys on the roof, along with the two guys on the outsides, we knew there were at least six people in this group. And this definitely wasn't the last we'd see of them either. Anyway, after the loss, I headed back to base, and on my way I saw a guy farming nodes on the mountain. Dead. Nice. Thanks to Lewis, we got another saw back along with some farm, so we made our way towards our base, and just before nightfall, we farmed a few nodes in our area. That was so fun, dude. <laughs> I'm so glad we did that, bro. I don't even care if we got raided. Yeah, we don't have any GP at the moment, barely any cloth. We just need to do a fucking... We'll do one more rig and then we just need to focus on resources. A bit, yeah. yeah. I think all we need is those large farnies, dude. For real, man. We were running slightly low on resources and we needed to change that, but we were also waiting for another opportunity to mess with that village. And I guess it was our lucky day. Helly? Fucking is, bro. We could count that. Huh? We could kind of, but we can't take it. Wait, what if they took it on the water and we're literally there ready? They're Let's see if they it, take bro. it. They are, they are, they are. This was our chance. The villagers were taking heli right on the coast. And if the heli crashed on the ocean side and the crates were in the water, we'd be there ready to loot with diving gear. Where's our boat? There it I've is. I've got low grade. Right, hop in, hop in. We need to go fast. They're, they're taking up fast, it's already smoking. Yeah, it's 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 done. And oh, it's, I not, wasn't it's not in the water though. It's not in the water. We can go. Now with our diving plan wasted, we made our way there on foot, hoping to get there before the crates were looted. The only way it's gonna work is if it's not in the middle of all of their bases. It's not, yeah. it's right on the peninsula. Bro, the whole crate it did land in the fucking water, bro. Did it? Yeah, they got where the fucking fire was from the heli part itself. I might be able to kill one and get away from with a kit. Yep, one coming out here. Killed one. Killed him. Nice. That was me shooting. Run, run towards us. Hey, okay. Hold on, I have Vincent. I have Vincent, I can kill him. One pushing left, one pushing right. Another one dead. One here close, one close by the hemp base. Look. Watch, he's gonna be on the roof. I don't know where AK is. He's on the roof. Another one. Hey, he's dead, he's dead. But I'm 1 HP, I'm gonna be like Josh. I'm take my boy. guns, take my guns, take my guns. Oh no. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. <laughs> Dude, they hate us. They hate us. They hate us. Bro, you don't understand what I just did. Oh, what would I do without Lewis? The guy managed to kill four of them while well, I did pretty much jack shit, except for killing an AK guy. And not only did he have two spare guns, but he was exactly who I was looking for. No! The same guy that killed me at the start was the same guy we'd stolen a full metal AK kit from. And although it was a happy outcome, that wasn't the end of it. This was only the beginning. Nah, no, bro, that's fucking gold. That was golden. Oh my god. I'm gonna put what I got in, uh... That was I'll so put the gun good. box. This is what I got. I also want to say, but I know this loot is nothing crazy. I watch these Rust YouTubers too. I see the loot they get using a rock and <laughs> come back to base with a row of AKs. And obviously I'm not as good as them or most of you watching, but to get revenge on the guy who killed me at the start, it was a good feeling. And like I said, this was not the last time we'd steal from this group either. Over the next hour or so, we did a few recycle and farm runs, so we'll skip the boring parts and go ahead one hour with just me and Lewis in the base while Oggy was taking a break. By the way, do you know if you the research bins like actually like if you look through the magnifying glass it actually magnifies? You know that? <gasps> oh my that's god, so that's close. close. What the f It's gonna be the big group reading, thinking it's us or something. 
Maybe. I mean, it was only what? Was that Satchel's or C4 or Rock? I, I have no idea, mate. I don't know. Oh, yep. He's coming. Loads of them. Oh, no, Lewis. I'm dead. There's two of them. Two of them. They're gonna r run to my body. They haven't seen you. Okay, that guy just saved my life. You good? Yeah. But I'm probably gonna die here. Uh, full kit pushing up to you. They're pushing you? Three? Are they dead? Okay, I'll kill you. Hey, can me? One more, he's one HP. Oh, one more, he's three. one HP. There's three more Wait, hazies, what? Bro. There were three more hazies. There are two more hazies in the AK. That's annoying, dude, because I, I full killed two. And there was just one left, but I whiffed on him, you know? Yeah, I fucking whiffed, like, so bad. Oh, I think one's coming. Um, no, I can see there's four of them. That Nah, there's... Oh, it's a whole group together. They've all gone back. They all managed to get back, yeah. What? It's the fucking them, bro. It's them. Wait, how do you know it's them? I got killed by fucking GG or whatever it's called. We figured those explosions we heard while in our base might have been the villagers thinking they found our base and raided it. We pushed over and I managed to kill a few but were killed by names we didn't recognize. Except for a guy Lewis said was called GG something, which sounds a lot similar to this guy that killed me at the start. If this was one of the four or five guys we just fought and they were all different names and lived in this village, this group might be bigger than we think. Those six people that raided their base back earlier might only be half of this clan's numbers. And making any big moves on this group just as a trio will probably be difficult. But day one was still not over. We wanted to do a bit of a farm run mainly for metal. And once we had more than enough, we went back to base, tech tree to large furnace and built a furnace base. So cool. <laughs> then we can place another one there. Once the furnace base was finished and cooking our metal, I made a start on the wooden compound. And less than an hour later, once our metal cooked up, I was able to finish our base too. Although it seemed like we were on our own in this area, there was still a chance we could wake up to a raided base the following morning. Maybe by those villages or maybe by just another big clan across the map. All we could do was just hope. Alright. Day two. Day two of uh, of Rust. Cargo's um cargo's out. They're gonna do cargo. Do you not see? My stream. No. I tried to get in that boat boat so they kill me. So if I got okay, so I'm gonna just stash my loot and I'm gonna come back. And I'm gonna spawn over there, dude. No, I'm gonna spawn over there, dude. I wanna see what's going on. Oh no, the, I see they're building a compound out of the. Bro, they've got a lot of walls done. They've done a lot of the walls. They've done so much of the compound, Augie. Oh shit. He's got AK, coffee can AK. <laughs> Vlad 11K, that's another name, bro. How many are there, man? It's a huge group. It's a massive group, bro. Oh, yeah. well, I destroyed the last pump, bro. Yes. <laughs> was it already damaged? Or did they repair it? It was. It was. It was damaged, dude. Yes, bro. Yes. Ooh. Oh no. Yeah, there's so many, dude. I fucking hate turrets, bro.
We got him. Do they know what you sound like? Yeah, yeah. Shit, I don't think they know what I sound like. Dude, I have an alt account. <laughs> what if I inside them, bro? <laughs> what do we do, Augie? There's something we can do here, bro. There was probably a lot we could have done, actually. Today or even yesterday would have been better. And that was our error. We missed countless opportunities to infiltrate this group because we didn't seize the opportunity while they were weak. Just overnight, the strength of their base multiplied. They now had turrets watching every corner and they were halfway to a fully built compound. That same day, we continued to stay on our own and avoid that villager group. We went to oil rig every time the crate respawned and when oil rig was down, we'd spend our time doing other stuff like farming the tunnels. Eventually, we bought a mini copter to make oil rig runs quicker and for the rest of that day, we did trips upon trips flying back and forth from Oyerik. Occasionally, we'd do a farm run far from the villager base so they couldn't find us. And eventually, we built up our base, making it a bit stronger. Oh, while we spent our day progressing ourselves, they progressed five times quicker. That group had upgraded and completely finished their village, and it was stronger than ever. High compound walls around every base they owned, turrets placed on every corner, and each tower now fully sheet metal. It was lucky they hadn't found us yet. We could honestly build like a smaller little tower, do you know that? As well, in the middle, like build the 2x2 two two up. I yeah, did make a build up here. Yeah, so. yeah. Do you, what do you think, bro? We could build up and do we could a bit higher. Two by two with these yeah, yeah. And just higher up, you know? Mm -hmm. After a long day of building our components, weapons, and materials, we decided to do a roam with our full metal kits. Oh. That guy's been shooting for so long, bro. I it's saw him shooting yeah, earlier. It's a, it's a hazmat guy over there. I see, oh, no, me. I see him. Hold on. Go here. You see it on the left, one of the van here. Dead, dead, one dead. Yeah, one behind the wall. I see him. Headshot dead. Good shot. Oh, he dropped uh, all the. Oh my god, he had loads of stuff here. Oh my god. What? What? This guy had 800 scrap. Holy shit. I just noticed. Well, at least we have rock water and hedge, you know? And 800 scrap. Shit, that's your face. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's so oh no. Oh, sorry, I'm dead. Our front door. I opened the door and he was sitting in it. With Got what? my LR, LR, LR. He's outside to the left, running now. Running, he's full kit. He's full kit. I'm dead. Where, where, where is he? He's hit twice. He's literally hugging the, the fence to the left. He's headshot there, he's headshot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good shit. What's his name? What's his name? Uh, I'll get it now. It is... Harper Rusher 50. Oh no, no, no. GG Spongebob. Oh no. no, no, no. Who said that? No, Who said that? No, Who said that? No, no, Who said no, it? Who no, said no, that? No, no, no. In check. No, no, no. Where's coordinates of SpongeBob Fork said? Oh no, oh no. Dead no, sorry, is mine. Oh, Hart wants to raid us. Oh, he wants to raid us. Now, if you're curious what just happened, this Harper guy that shot my friend just outside of our compound was part of the same group that we just killed at Ward Treatment. Once we killed him again outside of our base, he mentioned our name in the global chat, and straight away a guy called Vork asked where we lived. I'd never seen this Vork guy before, but he was a part of the G&G &G group we think are a part of this village. And if they found us and where we lived, no doubt as soon as we went offline they would find our base, most likely raid us, and this adventure would come to an end. Our fate was left in the hands of this Harper guy. 
We needed to make sure he wouldn't leak any info to the villagers. So privately, we organized to meet. Yo, bro. What's up, man? Here's your cat, first of all. Do you, have you seen those Russian guys, bro? They're like... They're like, um... What are that? To the oh, left, oh, F11, wait, next to Fishing Village. Yeah, yeah, hello. Basically, uh, we've been messing with them uh, from the start. They killed me at the beginning. They've been roof camping. They've been just killing everyone in that area. And they're pretty toxic. Yeah. So our mission has been to basically kill right. them. Infiltrate them, try and ra raid and break in or whatever. So... Uh, I can mess with days if you want. I can go in with a mini and send you all the... All of their turrets or all of their shit. Sorry about that. <laughs> After a friendly conversation with Harper and giving yeah. his kit back which we took from him earlier, he wasn't as bad or as salty as he seemed in the global chat. He agreed not to leak any info on our base location to the villagers and he even offered to help fight them with us. We appreciated the offer but this was a fight between us and them and it seemed like they were more eager to find us than we anticipated. And we knew we couldn't hide from them forever, but at least we were safe for another night. Alright, um... following morning, I got a message from Oggy saying our base was getting raided. I logged on straight away in an attempt to stop them. How much metal was in there? Were we actually being raided? Yeah. No, I found a space, dude. Yeah, come on, come on. Oh my dad, bro! I'm how many? How many? How many are there? Two hazmats. Two hazmats. One dead. Both dead. Let me jump in. Let me jump in. Let me get to this guy's body here. Okay, hold on. You looted both of them. Okay, it's this guy's just a random Russian. I've never seen this guy before. They're really weird though, dude. The way they're saying, sure easy this, loot. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is... um One of them. Look at the, night, look at the Chinese letters. Isn't that him? Them, bro, they found us. No, oh, no. They found us. Shit. I mean, we need to get this back now, bro, because they'll make a raid base out of this. We have to. So, how much metal was there? I mean, 
Uh, 4K. 4K? They they rated us for 4K metal. Are you being <laughs> serious? Yeah, yeah, I got too soon. Like you heard and saw, they found us. The villagers we'd been avoiding for the past day or so figured out where we were hiding. And it just so happened to be the same two guys that killed us on our first day, ruining our initial start. And here they were raiding our furnace base. I managed to kill both of them, of course, but their third guy must have left with a 4,000 metal, which by the way, wasn't much at all. Well, this was still a big problem for us. We knew they wanted to find us, and once they saw my name SpongeBob appear once I killed them, they'd know. Our days on the server were shrinking, and it was only a matter of time until those villagers came over here and plundered. For a minute, we didn't know what to do from here forward. We'd spent so much of our time staying undercover, and now they knew where we were. We were done hiding. They'd also just provoked us by raiding our furnace base and talking shit from inside. If it's a fight they want, we weren't going to hold back. Because now, we had nothing to lose. It all started that day when cargo came out. We had a minicopter now, so Lewis flew me over and dropped me off to clear the scientists. Oh, there's a scrap alley! Down for it. Yeah, landing on it. I think they just served a bunch of people. Do you want to just drop me on the top? Can you call that scientist, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm go, good, go, I'm go. good, I'm good. There are, oh, he dropped them on. He's. There's only going to be one or two, Josh. He dropped them on from uh, from oil. Oh. Scrap, scrap, he just landed on oil. I'm going to go get you a kit and some rubber. They're pushing up hold on one sec. I think this might be it, bro. No, I'm dead. He's so amazing somehow. I wonder who it is. Oh, it's them! Who? It's them, dude. It's them. It's the Russians. <gasps> Bro. Bro. We have to go on mini. There's only one guy on rig. Are you sure? We have to go right now with mini. He's only wolf headdress. Ready? Here you go. I don't have visuals. Uh, no, he's in front of Red Room. Just gone inside of Red Room. Go, 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 go! This is the chance. Careful, because he has a GL. Nice, 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 nice. He's coming up, coming upstairs, coming, coming upstairs. Up. No, he's uh, below the stairs. He's got. Go drop down one. Dead, dead. Grab Good shit. Gonna shit. It's them. It's one of them, yeah. dudes. <laughs> Fuck them, bro. Yes. Good shit, lass. Done, little Lulu. Good School. job, bro. I scrap holy nine bitches. We can do <laughs> oil with this. <laughs> Many coming in. Hello. Be careful because that's gonna try fire. I guarantee you he's got he's got a fuck it. Yep, yep. Run, 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 run. <laughs> I'm trying, bro. <laughs> oh shit, you might be fucked, bro. I might be fucked. I actually might be fucked. Bro, get to the BS9. I am, I am, I am. Keep coming, you go keep coming, bro. No, he got me. He got me with the hitchy. He's landing, he's landing. What is that timing? I timed out. I see them, I see them, I see them. Hit one. I think they're both dead. Yeah, I think they're both dead. I killed them both. Yeah, yeah, I killed them both. We're definitely getting raided. No. I know, bro. <laughs> we have to stop crippling. That was probably the nail in the coffin for us. I think taking their oil rig and not only stealing their scrap belly, but angering them enough to blow the heli up. They were out to raid us, but it was only a matter of time. That's why we spent our time making the base as strong as possible. Oh, I'm meant to see my girlfriend tonight. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> While waiting for the inevitable, we spent our time doing oil rig run after oil rig run, until heli came out and our chance to take it down ourselves finally came. This is gonna be my last bit of ammo, dude. It's not even on fire. There we go, it's down. Is it down? It's down. Good hit. Uh, where's that diamond tank? Is that it? Oh, I see, I see the crates. Go, go, go. C4 rockets! Nice. Follow. 
Bunch of ammo. Please, no, it's not pistol ammo, dude. Super oh. rockets is good. Super rockets is good. Though. Bloody hell, that was that was good, man. That was clutch, bro. Cause I had barely any ammo left. Like I had one mag left. I want an M2, bro. So bad. Yeah, I wish that was an M2, man. I need a building plan and hammer. Oh my god, cargo third crit. Second crit. That's just come out, Josh. We have to. No, Sacrifice it's a third. I think it's a, it's no, a third it's crit. Second. It's... Oh yeah, it is third. Wanna go counter it, maybe? <laughs> that is tempting. Land up front. Or the cabin. Make your decision now. Cabin. Gonna... Cabin, or no cabin or nothing. Cabin or nothing. You got ready to jump? Yeah, yeah, he's a blaster. Jump! I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. I'm on. Where are you? Oh, well, I'm down here, mate. I oh, he was got stuck on the ladder, I'm dead, dude. Uh, bottom, bottom here, below me, on me. Bottom on me, yeah, yeah. We're getting built, 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 base being built, Oggy. Are we getting raided? Yeah, they're building a raid base right now. Okay, I'm gonna come back now. I'm just gonna jump off, okay? They're trying to build a raid base, I'm stopping them. Oh, there was a submarine there too. Far am I from this? One dead on the on the right. Nice, base. nice, 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 nice. I'm pulling up back. Base, you should see me. He's dead again in the raid base. Nice, dead nice. again good in the raid shit, base. Good shit. Where's LR? Still at the rock. Still at the rock, I think. Yeah. I'm right behind him, Moggy. I'm right behind. Or Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dead, dead, dead. Keep shooting the roof. Yeah, yeah. So he doesn't upgrade it. I am watching it. Once. LR doesn't see me. I am I am once. No, there's one up at the rocks. There, there's loads of them coming, bro. Absolutely loads of them. One dead, one dead. Nice, nice, nice. I'm coming out. Hit once. There's Shoot one on that side and there's one on top of rocks. He's low! Hey, one dead, one dead. Try and hold us. I'm dead, but two are dead, there's only one left. Definitely just one, yeah? Just one, just one. Dead. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, they're loose. Fuck, I need a deeper this cat. Deep order, deep order. Killed naked, running back. Nice, nice, nice. Right one yeah, one here, one here. He's low, he's low, he's low, he's low. Just left. Dead, 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 double nice, dead. Good shit, good shit. There we go, it's him again. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's good. That was good timing for you to die. <laughs> on, on thingy. I know, dude. And that was it. Apparently, that was all they had to bring. Although they did secure the raid base, we won the fight. Well, there's a bit to think about here. Was it even the villagers that we just fought? And if it was, why did less than half of them show up? And lastly, what the hell kind of a raid base is this? Well, I can confidently answer the first question. 
We knew it was them just because of this name. You might recognize it. He was the guy we found raiding our furnace base this morning, before I even got online. He was also the guy that killed me and Oggy at the very start, stopping us from building our base. And he's also the same guy who roof camped me from the village a day later. So at that point, we thought it was over, at least for the time being. But the most bizarre thing was yet to even happen. Oggy, uh, Lewis, research AK. Oh yeah. Shush. Just use the thousand scrap. Just like that. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! There's no way. Are they raiding? I'm going up. I'm going up. We are getting pummeled. We're getting pummeled. I need to get a kit from up there, Lewis. Okay, I have no ammo. Um, I'm getting heavy. I'm getting heavy. Yeah, yeah. I'm going very deep. Four rockets down. Where are they raiding from, though? I'm so confused. The water, water, water. What did he just break? I'm so confused. Check windmill. Wind turbine. Wind turbine's still there. What? What is he just broke? I don't see it. Wait, was he playing it down the mic? Or what? Uh, no, that because my screen shaked. <laughs> what just happened, bro? What did he hit? I I don't know. You guys are weird, man. I I, I I'm so confused, bro. Checking compound. Compound is fine. Compound is completely fine. What? Where do they get these rock, bro? I don't understand what just happened. I really don't. I really we don't will, know what just happened. We will 100% win if they come. By the way. Why? Our base is ridiculously strong, bro. You don't understand how strong it's base. Yeah, true. So the long wait began. We sat in our base waiting patiently for them to turn up and we can hopefully defend an online raid against our greatest enemies on the server. We ended up waiting hours for them to show up, but it was just silence. We assumed with their numbers they'd have no hesitation to come and online raid a trio group. But I guess we were wrong. Soon enough it had reached the early hours of the morning and I'd given up. I logged off and all I could do was just hope that we wouldn't get raided overnight. This might be the last time I see this bunker, Lewis. If I'm quit. <laughs> what was I really expecting? So fast yet so I'm gonna go in there Surf the void on the blood I'll see you later when them flash Floods come I'll see you later when them pass Seeds run Gonna steer away now Offline raid Arguably the worst part about playing Rust I guess those villagers had enough and while we were sleeping, they came over and blew into the side of our base. Because the villagers were too scared to online raid a trio group, we had to bring the fight to them. But as you know, if you go into any battle outnumbered, of course, you'll need to prepare. Which is exactly what we did. Hello, so you ready? Almost. Okay. Alright, cool. Take photos, my friend. <laughs> we rattled the hornet's nest. Oh, oh my god, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> Dude. You ready? Alright. Go for it, go for it. Oh 
does. <laughs> After getting some shots of their village layout, we headed back to our base. But just five pictures wasn't enough. We needed to know this village inside out. Now that we knew the layout of their village, we needed a plan on how we could infiltrate it. We knew we had absolutely no chance of raiding any of their main bases, but one of their other bases that they heavily relied on might work even better. One thing almost every big clan needs on Rust is a lot of cloth and a lot of farm. So what really could be in one of those small bases? At this point, I think it's pretty obvious. But without enough raid supplies to pull this off, this planning would be pointless. Hold on. Is that heli coming out? It is. I think a patrol heli's out. Detect that. No, they, they will take it. Yeah, it's fine. I've got a diving tank in my base at theirs. Yeah, go, go on. Um, F1 killing on the roof. Can you sort my shit out? There's so many shooting, bro. If it wasn't clear what Oggy was up to, earlier today he built a small base with a box of diving gear ready for when the villagers next took heli. And once the villagers took down this attack heli on the ocean side, Oggy was already in the water, ready to loot the crates. C4 rockets. Go, 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 go. Swim, Oggy! <laughs> you got four crates? No, three, three. M92, C4 rockets, LR. Hey. Hi. <laughs> that is no one, I love you, bro. Oh my god. He's done. Look, he's done that. He's got two C4 three rockets, bro. Now that we had put a perfect plan together and now had extra C4 and rockets along with our C4 and rockets from oil regalia, it was time to do this. Eventually the time was right. We waited until later that night when they were least expecting it, while most of them were logged off and it was just their night watch online. This is close enough. Stop here. Jumping out. We're diving? Yeah. Got like a fucking navy seal up here. Don't give me light. Move back, move back. TC. TC, perfect. Such a log. Okay, um, what? Come on, baby. We need a seal, we need a seal. Is there not another team? Oh my god, this is loaded. What the f- I'm gonna just run with this, I think. You guys get to defend, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm dipping. I headed back to base with what we got from their tool cupboard while Oggy and Lewis were holding down the breach and breaking their way to the roof. Oh, <coughs> how many shots? Dead, no, no, you're dead. Yeah, yeah. Part of our plan was to place our own TC in this base and take it over. But overlapping tool cupboards wasn't allowing us. This was a big problem until Oggy found a solution. <gasps> I can do it. I can play CC. Where? Nice. Where? Here, here, look, 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 look. I need, I need materials to, um, I need a hammer, I need a hammer. Oh. Yeah, I'm being shot at right now. He's dead again. Nice. Oggy, do you have TC, yeah? Yes, yeah, yeah. Wait, what the fuck is that? What the fuck? <laughs> it wasn't ideal, but it worked. 
We now had full control of one of their bases. We got roof access. Check them out. Oh my god, we're out. Kill the kid. I, I can't believe I thought of that, bro. Well, technically this base was ours now. We had our own tool cupboard place, so we sealed off both the bottom floor and the top floor, placing our own doors. And now that we had roof access, we had to deal with all those turrets they placed. And we had to get this job done quickly before they worked out what was going on and logged back in. Oh yeah, again, 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 again. Just like we were expecting, the villagers began logging in and started shooting us from their towers. I had run. Oh, like I said, this base was ours now, so all we had to do is build some cover on the roof as we shot the last turrets. Oh, they make it dead. I shot the guy, I shot the guy, this is your chance. Go, 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 that first box There's more Pure Orty, Pure Orty, Pure Orty, Pure Woodsy Oh my god, the cloth we got dude All those hemp clones bro I don't know what Are they even important? Thing. Yeah, me and Augie can like set up a hemp farm tomorrow Or you and Augie can set up a hemp farm tomorrow This might be the last time I see this bunker loose Okay, you don't care. <laughs> yeah, okay, good day, bro. It's it a really good day. Everyone quit. So it didn't really matter that we got offline raided. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't sad that we'd lost everything. Did the villagers win? Yeah. And they'll probably carry out their wipe, bullying all the smaller groups just like us. But remember, my goal from the very beginning of this journey was to get revenge on the group that ruined my start. And that's what we did. Yes, we were wiped off the server, but we left our mark. And hopefully a name they will never forget.